Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Active Active Load Balancing using Apache and CentOS 7. So I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of the servers that I have here. So I have three CentOS servers. So I have CentOS here, which I'll use as my load balancer. And then I have Web Server 1 and Web Server 2. I'll leave a link below to my tutorial that shows you how to install CentOS 7 and you can install CentOS 7 to get to this point. So I'm just going to go to web server one here and I'll just show you the config I have. So what I've done, I've added a index.html file to my Apache root directory. So you can do so by typing sudo by forward slash var dub 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 html and then by typing index.html. So you can press I to go into a cert mode and what I've typed here is this is server one howdy. So we now know this is server one. If you were doing this on a website, you'd have your two websites the exact same on each server. But since this is a tutorial, I'll show you how my web server two looks now. So to come out of this after you've typed this is server one, type in escape colon W Q and explanation mark. Okay, so I'm now going to go to server2 and I'll type in the same command. So sudo by var dub 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 html and index.html. And if prompted, just pop in your password. So we can see it says this is server2. Howdy. So I'm just going to press escape colon q explanation mark to come out of that. So let's just open Firefox to make sure all is working for us here. And while that's loading, I'll do the same on server one here. Okay, grand. So I'm just going on server two here. I'm just going to type in local host and I'll hit enter. And we can see it says this is server two. Howdy. And on web server one, I'll do the same. Local host. And it says this is server one. Howdy. So now we know which server is it is which when we navigate through the browser. Okay, now that we know we have our web server set up correctly, there's two commands we need to run on each server. So I'm just going to go back to my uh, low balance server here and I'm going to run this command. I'll leave a link below to where you can get all these commands so you can just copy and paste them in. So I'm going to type in sudo, I'm going to paste in the command here myself firewall hyphen cmd that's that zone public add port 80 tcp permanent so basically i'm just allowing port 80 into this centos machine and i'm going to click enter and if prompted pop in your password and we can see that's a success so i'm just going to run it here on my web server one two as well so i'm just going to paste it in here and I'll click return and if prompted pop in your password success and we'll do it on web server 2 as well and I'll click enter and I'll pop in my password okay so that looks good so there's one command left that we need to run on each web server and on the load balancer server as well and it's basically just to restart the firewall so to do so, I'm going to type in sudo and I'll paste this command in here. It's firewall hyphen cmd space dash dash reload. And that's a success. Oh, and I've been prompted because I didn't put sudo in in front of it. So let me just do that, sudo. And that's a success. And we'll just do the same here again and I'll paste it in. And that has worked as well for us there. Okay, now that we've done that, we can start getting into the meat of this video. So we need to ensure that our load balancer server has the Apache modules that it needs to do the load balancing work. Now, if you followed along with my previous video, how to install Apache on CentOS 7, you will have all those modules by default and it is the default on CentOS 7 for when you install Apache. And these modules that you need are mod proxy, mod proxy HTTP, mod proxy balancer and mod LB method by requests. 
And we can also check that they're enabled by just doing, typing in sudo vi etc httpd conf.modules 00 hyphen proxy dot conf. So you just use tab completion to tab out your directories and files. So we all look good here because there is nothing that is commented out. If you see one of the modules that are needed that are commented out as so, just remove the hash symbol and press escape and WQ for write and quit. But we can see we have all our modules enabled. And I'm just going to click enter here to continue. I'm going to come back out of this. Hopefully it will let me this time. Perfect, and I am out there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create our default site.conf file. So to do so, type in sudo forward slash etc forward slash httpd forward slash conf.d and then type in default hyphen site.conf. And it's really important they don't have any typos in your default hyphen uh, site.com and then click enter. Oh, what if I, I have a typo here somewhere? Oh, I never typed in by, so let me just correct that now. And you can see I'm now brought in here to create a file. So I have some uh, text here on the clipboard that I'm now going to paste in. Oh, I don't all paste in, so let me just correct this now. virtual host and get rid of that second L there and I'll put the uh, open in bracket. Okay so I have virtual host and the two most important lines here that you need and again I'll put a link below where you can get all these uh, commands and files and you can just copy and paste them in as you follow along. The two most important are these balancer member. So these are the IP addresses and I need to correct one here of my two web servers so web server one is 142 and web web server two is 143 and i have them going over port 80 just to be sure that's the port they communicate over so you need to get the ip address of your web servers and just replace them here and here so what this will do it will then begin to send traffic to one server then to the other then to the other then to the other and it will balance the load over the two so now that i've done that i'm going to press escape colon w q and explanation mark for write quit and exit and the next command i'm going to type in then is sudo service httpd restart and i'll hit return and that all looks good as we can see that apache has restarted so the last thing i want to get here i'm just going to get the ip address of this server so i can get to it so i'm going to type in ifconfig which is similar to ipconfig but ifconfig on linux and we can see the ip address of this server is 192.168.137.141 so i am just going to copy this here Okay, now that I've copied that, let me just pull over my browser window here. And I'm just going to paste it in. And let me just put HTTP in front of it. And hit return. Okay, this is server 2. Howdy. Server 2. Hopefully now, server 1, server 2, server 1, server 2. So you can see now we're now balancing the load between the two. So that is how to set up a simple... HTTP Apache Load Balancer using CentOS 7. If you encountered any issues while follow along, be sure to comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. And for more videos like this, please do subscribe. Thanks. Bye.